Hey everybody, it's Lisa Mason Mentor with AskLisaMentor.com. Today I'm going to go over how to write a quick blog post because there's a lot of people who just don't have any idea where to start, how to write a blog or any of that. So today I'm going to go over that with you. But I know you're like, what is all that stuff on her bed and why is she working in her bedroom? Well, I'm kind of like in transition um, between places right now and I'm staying with my sister. So I use my bed as my uh, my table. So just going to ignore that over there. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to write a quick blog post, especially like if you're stuck, if you're like brand new at writing a blog, you're like, I don't know how to write a blog. I don't know what to write about. Well, today I'm just going to talk to you about the anatomy of a blog. Okay, how it should really be uh, structured. Okay, first of all, you need to have a plan. And once you determine the purpose of your blog and get your idea in place, you need to start creating your content around this anatomy or this these these. I got four easy steps, but these five easy steps, and I'll go back and fix that. First, you need, secondly, you need to have your headline and your title. It really needs to pop, and it needs to kind of draw your audience to you and grab their attention. Next, you need to ask a question at the top of your content as the header, like, here's my question right here. Are you trying to write a quick blog post but stuck? Okay, so that's something that's going to get inside the reader's head, okay? Um, so you want them to be able to immediately be able to relate to your content, okay? So you need to also, number four is be polarizing. So you need to present at least two opposing views or opinions to answer the question that you presented. So, you know, some people think this, some people think that. You know, you need to present two different ideas, okay? Then you need to provide a solution, okay? So here's the solution, one, two, three, four, five. There's the solution the structure, how to do it. And here's a little bonus. If you're in a home-based business or any business, real estate, um, any kind of sales or anything like that, and you have a business, you have a presence online, you have a blog, which in my opinion, every business should have a blog or a presence online, create a call to action, a CTA, at the end of your post. This is going to help direct people to click a link uh, or to get additional information or about your opportunity or additional training or what have you. Um, so the goal of your blog post is to get an even exchange. You provide information that helps them in exchange for contact info so you can add them to your list. And I hope that this really helps you. Remember, you got to have a plan. you got to have a headline. you got to ask a question. you got to be polarizing. And you got to provide a solution for your readers. I hope this helps you today. Have an awesome day. Uh, if you want... To get additional information about me, just go here to AskLisaMentor.com. Uh, once you get here, please like my fan page to keep in touch. Have a great day. Bye-bye.